Hi everyone, in this video I'll be going over this grasshopper script that allows you to put a uh, roof tile on a surface. Uh, it's a really small straightforward script but it, you do need the paneling tools um, plugin for it to, to, for it to work correctly. What the script can do is basically divide the surface by length. It doesn't divide it by the by a number. Uh, so this is an actual 8 inch and 16 inch uh, depending on if you're using uh, depending on what units you're using. So I'm using feet and inches so I wanted those specific uh, parameters and so that's how big the the tiles are and uh, also the height of the tile. So that's basically how the script works. Um, we have here uh, the, the final product but let's take a look at how it was created and how how it's broken down so as you can see here you start with a base plane and so that's what we have here and that plane is then subdivided with this so that's the length that it's subdivided with and the and this is called the surface domain length then we offset that grid this amount which gives you the height of the of the tile and then ultimately here you you end up with the tiles that are uh, put through at each cell or each box that was created between those two um, between those two grids point grids so here we go and then at the end they're grouped together so what we can do is create a new layer here call it roof tiles and then we can bake it also um, you do need to have a tile geometry which I created here this is the actual B rep that we're going to be putting in between these two point grids so you can change this tile it could be a slate tile you just have to create it yourself and then you could adjust the parameters of how big and how tall it's going to be so it doesn't have to be necessarily the exact size because you end up changing it here but if you do already have it that size that's it'll work just fine and so as you can see that and there we have that and if we do change it to a different surface like that one you see we can just go here bake it and there we have the roof tiles look pretty that look really clean I hope you found this tutorial useful I'll make sure to leave a uh, link and uh, everything in the description for you to download um, that way you can play around with it and let me know what you think um, yeah, and I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching.